Hi, fifth graders. This is Mrs. Lamorne again, and today we're going to be doing illustrative math, grade five, unit five, place value patterns and decimal operations, lesson five, comparing decimals. So our goal today is to compare decimals. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is a little warm up. We're going to decide if each statement is true or false. Okay, when I look at these two numbers, I see that they have the same digits. This one has a 7 and this one has a 6, right? 7 and a 6. And this one has a 7 and a 6. So at first glance, I would think that they would be equal. But if I line up the decimal point between the two numbers, I notice that we have different place values, right? So this cannot be equal if this is a 6 hundredths, remember tenths, hundredths, and this one, it, the 6 is in the thousandths, tenths, hundreds, thousands. So, no, I would say that this statement is false. Okay, I'm going to grab a different color, and let's see the next one. All right, so, again, I am going to line up those decimal places. So, the first digit was seven and six hundredths, and then the second digit, or the second number, was seven and sixty hundredths. So, I can see that we we have zero here in the thousands place. I can add a zero. Remember, I can add as many zeros as I want. It doesn't change this value. And then in this column, which is the hundredths, I have two sixes, so that's equal. Zeros in the tenths, and then seven in the ones. So I'm going to say that this one is true. All right, now I'm going to pick a different color and see what they have for us next. Okay, let's look at this one. Again, I'm going to use that strategy of lining up those decimal points so that I can compare the place value. Again, I'm going to start with the lowest place value, which would be thousands. I can add a zero here, and I can see that those two are equal. But I see that this one has six hundredths, and this one has zero hundredths. So I'm going to say again that, no, that is not the same. So we're going to say that that's false. Also, in the tenths place, we have zero tenths here and six tenths here. So that is a false, right? All right, let's look at, is there another one? I think that's it. Let's see if they ask us a question. Nope. Awesome. Oh, Frisbee. I love to play Frisbee. Okay, the, the title of this activity is called Farther and Faster. Have you ever thrown a Frisbee? A frisbee is a disc. In the Olympics, there is an event called discus throw. Participants try to throw a metal disc as far as they can. Diego and Jada were competing to see who could throw the frisbee the further. Further, um, Diego threw the frisbee five and ten hundredths meters. Right, I'm reading it as ten hundredths because I have a ten here and it ends in the hundredths place. And Jada threw the frisbee five and one hundredth of a meter. Who threw further? So again, I'm going to line up those decimal places so that the play, I can compare place values, right? So here is uh, Diego and here is Jada. So in the thousandths place value, I have a zero here and a one here. But in the tenths place value, I see that I have a one in the tenths and a zero in the tenths. So I think Diego threw it five meters plus one tenth of a meter, and Jadia threw it five meters plus one hundredth of a meter, right? So on the number line, if I were going to write this on the number line, let's pretend this is five, and over here would be six. So here would be 5.1, 5.2, right? So this would be Diego's, 5.1, right? Five and one tenth. But Jada's would be five and one hundredth, which would be, would be over here, right? Because there's no one tenth. So actually, it wouldn't be there. Sorry about that. Let's put it in yellow so you can see. It would be about right here. So... We have Diego's here, which is further, and Jada's is just a little bit more than five. 
And I can see that also when I line up the digits. They both threw five meters, but then the next biggest digit would be in the tenths. Just like if we were doing 510 compared to 501, right? Which one would be bigger? 510. Well, that's the same way we would compare it if it were decimals, which it is. So we're going to say Diego. Diego threw it further. And I have two ways of showing that. I can show that on a number line, or I can compare place values. All right. Tyler and Han were competing to see who could swim the length of the pool faster. Tyler swam the length of the pool in, okay, again, I'm going to line up my decimals. Let's make sure I have a color you can see. 35 and 15 hundredths, because it ends in the hundredths. And Han swam the length of the pool in 35 and 30 hundredths of a second. Who swam the length of the pool faster? Well, if they were going to swim faster, I need the smaller number, right? Because it took less time. Remember, these are seconds. And I want the smaller number because that would take less time than a person who swam the larger number. Okay, so again, I have 30 and 5, which are equal, but then when I look at the tenths, I see that this number is smaller, so I'm going to say Tyler swam faster. Tyler swam faster because 30 and 15 hundredths is less than 35, 35 and 15 hundredths is less than 35 and 30 hundredths. It has only one tenth and some hundredths, while 30 five and thirty hundredths has three tenths. And remember, we were looking for the fastest speed. That means the least amount. So that's confusing a little bit, but we have to think about how fast they went. All right. So let's look at some different ways we solve the problems. Both problems are about comparing decimals. How are the problems different? The units are different in the two problems. One is meters and the other one's seconds. In one problem, the winner has a greater number, and in the other problem, the winner has the lesser number because we were looking at time. Okay, furthest frisbee flight. Which is greater and how do you know? Again, I am going to compare the two numbers by matching up place values, right? So I'm going to take this number and write it right underneath. 0 and 0, 0, 1, right? Or this one was 1 hundredths and this one is 1 thousandths. I know that this number is smaller, I'm sorry, greater than this number because I'm going to compare from left to right. We have 0 ones, 0 tenths, and this number is bigger than this number in the hundredths. Okay, so there we go. Let's see what we have next. Oops, let me erase that. All right, recall that Diego threw the Frisbee five and one-tenth meter. Jada threw the Frisbee five and one-hundredths of a meter. For each question, find two possible answers. Han threw the Frisbee farther than Diego. How, might, how far might Han have thrown the, the, dis, the, the Frisbee? So... I'm going to have to pick a number since he threw it farther than Diego, and Diego, remember, threw it five and one tenth meters. So I have to have a number bigger than that. I could do five and two tenths. I could do five and six tenths, right? I could pick a, a different number, and these are meters, a higher number. That means the tenths have to be higher. I could even choose six, couldn't I? And then that's number one. Number two, Tyler threw the Frisbee farther than Diego, but less than six meters. So for this one, it has to be a little bit bigger than five and one-tenth, but smaller than six. So I could even do five and eleven hundredths, right? That's bigger than five and one-tenth. If I'm comparing decimal places, this is bigger. I could also do five and nine-tenths. That's smaller than six, isn't it? There's a lot of different answers we could have for that. Okay. My threw the Frisbee a shorter distance than Jada. So remember, Jada, this is Jada's distance, five and one hundredths. And my threw it less distance from that. So what could we put there? 
we could put 4 and 99 hundredths. Is that less than 5 and 1? Yeah, because 5 is greater than 9. I mean 4. 5 is greater than 4, so this is less than, right? What else could we do? We could do 4 meters. We could do even 5 meters is less than 5 and 1 hundredth of a meter. So, yeah, we could pick a lot of different numbers there. Priya threw the Frisbee a shorter distance than Jada, but more than 5 meters. How far might Priya have thrown her Frisbee? So, again, Jada, Jada, remember, she threw hers 5 and one hundredths and Priya was more than five um, shorter than five and one tenth but more than five so what number is between five and five and one tenth I mean there are one hundredth well there is a number between there and it could be five and one thousandth or five and two thousands, all of the thousands are going to be between 5.0 and 5.01, right? There are lots of thousands in between there. So we do five and five thousands. All the thousands are going to be in between there. Get together with a different pair of students and list all of the distances for Tyler and Priya in increasing order. So you're going to get together with your friends and you're going to take the answers that you brought out here and put them in decrease, increasing order. So from least to greatest. All right. How far might thought my have thrown the Frisbee? Well, we just answered that, didn't we? Um, she could have thrown it four meters, five meters or 4.99 meters. How far might Priya have thrown the Frisbee? Again, we did answer that too. Five and one thousand, five and two thousands, all the way up to five and nine thousands, right? How did you find some possible distances for mine? Well, I could pick any number that was five or less, so there were lots of choices. Five, four, four, point, four and seven tenths, four and eight tenths, there were lots of choices. How is finding the distance for Priya different than finding the distances for mine? So that one was a little bit harder, wasn't it? So remember Priya, it was greater than five, but less than five and one hundredth. So I had to realize that the numbers that were between five and five and one hundredths would be five and one thousandths all the way to five and nine thousandths. So I had to use those thousandths, right? It was really kind of hard. I had to pick a number that was bigger than five, but Priya had just one hundredth. I could not find a number using hundredths, so I had to go to thousandths because they're smaller than hundredths. Oops. What strategies did you use to put the numbers in your group to, in order? Well, you should have done that with your group. We had um, some numbers may have been the same, but you look at the whole number, and then the tenths, and then the, to, uh, the hundredths, and then the thousands to find which number is the greatest. Okay, today we use place value to understand and to compare decimals. Excuse me. How is this helpful for determining numbers that come between these two numbers? What is a number that is between 51 hundredths and 52 hundredths, and how do you know? Well, we can name all the thousands. There aren't any hundredths between 51 hundredths and 52 hundredths, so we'd have to go to the thousands. What is a number that is between 51 and 52 hundredths? Well, so there's 51. If I add a thousand, that's going to be between this number and this number, right? I could do 512. I could do 511 thousandths. I could go all the way to 519 thousandths, right? And then the next number would be, because 19, the next number is 20. Oops, I, I wrote those wrong. Let me do that again, sorry. I'll just erase this and this and go back. It's 0 and 519, 0 and 520 thousandths. Put that decimal there. So I, if I think of it as a whole number, what's the next number after 519? It's 520, which is the same as this number. 
So there's lots of numbers between, there are actually nine numbers between 500, uh, 51 hundredths and 52 hundredths. All right. Good job, boys and girls. Let's look at the cool down. Here we go. Lynn threw the Frisbee five and nine hundredths meters. Andre threw the Frisbee five and one tenth meter. Who threw it further? Again, I'm going to look at the numbers by lining up the decimal places. So I'm going to start from left to right and compare the ones. They're the same. Then I'm going to compare the tenths. And I can add a zero here if it helps me, but 10 is further than 9 hundredths, right? So if I thought of it as a whole number, 10 is more than 9. So Lynn, nope, sorry, Andre, thank you, threw it further. The Frisbee further. All right. All right, that's it for lesson five, boys and girls. I will see you again next time. Um, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos.